VFOG Guide is a virtualization management solution that provides performance monitoring, capacity planning, chargeback, and service management to help organizations mitigate the impact of resource sharing and support key business objectives. VFOGLite Quick View is a downloadable version of VFOGLite that has a subset of the VFOGLite features. The VFOGLite Quick View interface provides four tabs. The Virtual Environment tab for monitoring the various resources in your virtual environment. The Community tab, which provides links to a number of VFOGLite community and support resources. The Reports tab, which enables you to access and manage a number of valuable reports and the Administration tab, which enables you to perform several VFOGLite administrative tasks related to agent alarms, VFOGLite licenses, support bundles, and email. Let's take a look at the Virtual Environment tab. Toward the top of the Virtual Environment tab, there are a number of tiles. At the top right of the tiles, there is a Show drop-down list. With this drop-down list, you can select from the Virtual Centers VFOGLite is monitoring. The virtual center you select is the one that is displayed in VFOGLite. With VFOGLite Quick View, this feature is disabled. Only one virtual center can be monitored and viewed. As I alluded to at the beginning of this video, a number of VFOGLite features are not available in the VFOGLite Quick View. For some of those features, sample screens are shown in place of working screens. For example, if you click the Add Service icon next to the Show drop-down list, a non-working sample of the Add Service dialog is displayed. Each tile at the top of the Virtual Environment tab represents a particular object type in VFOGLite. In the top left corner of each tile, there is an icon that represents the object type. In the top right corner, you see the number of objects of that type that exists within the virtual infrastructure. Below the tiles is the Quick View. By default, this view displays a summary of the selected virtual center. If you click an object type or corresponding number on one of the tiles, the Quick View displays a summary of all the objects of that type. The exception to this is if there is only one object of that type. In that case, the Quick View displays a summary of just that object. At the bottom of each tile, there are status icons. Underneath each status icon, you can see the number of objects of the corresponding type in that state. If you click a status icon or corresponding number, the Quick View displays a summary of the objects of that type that are in that state. If you click an icon or number where there is only one corresponding object in that state, the Quick View displays a summary of just that object. If there are no objects of a type in a particular state, the corresponding status icon is white and does nothing. In the full version of eFoglite, you can move to a VM Explorer summary view of what you see in the Quick View by clicking here. In the Quick View, you can dwell over the various graphics and metrics for more detailed information. Also in the Quick View, you can click the various icons, links, metrics, and graphs for corresponding detailed information. Click an alarm icon, for example, and the Alarm Details dialog appears. The Alarm Details dialog provides a number of details about the alarm you selected, and in the full version of eFoglite, provides you with a number of functions that you can perform on the alarm. In the full version of eFoglite, you can use the Facts view at the bottom of the Virtual Environment tab to acquire answers to a number of questions. 
Select an object type at the left of the fax view. A list of questions about the object is provided. Select a question from the list. An answer to your question is provided at the right of the fax view. You can adjust the numerical scope of the answer by changing the number in the field provided. In VFoglight Quick View, only the first question listed for each object type is available. In this video, you have learned the basic layout of VFoglight Quick View and how to navigate on the Virtual Environment tab.